Today we have the container storage interface plugins for all of the Dell EMC storage platforms that you can see here. And we just released a Kubernetes operator to install and manage the life cycles of all these plugins from a single operator. In this video demo, we'll see how you can deploy the new Dell EMC CSI operator in the OpenShift environment. You can find the CSI operator for Dell EMC storage on operator hub.io by simply searching for Dell EMC. You can also do the search from right within OpenShift like how I'm doing it here. And by clicking on subscribe option, you can install the operator instance under the appropriate namespace. Before we install any of the individual CSI plugins from the operator, we need to make sure we create a namespace and the appropriate secrets for that plugin. Let's do this for the CSI plugin for Isilon, which is Dell EMC's scale out NAS platform. First, we'll create a namespace and then create a secret with access credentials for Isilon. And another secret to accept HTTPS. Now we can go back to the operator and create an instance of the Isilon CSI. Here we configure the CSI settings like the API endpoint for the array, the Isilon share to create the volumes, name of the storage class, and so on and click on create to spin up the Isilon CSI parts. Here we can see that the parts for the CSI got created. I can quickly check that the storage class we defined is also available. Now let's create a volume claim with this storage class. Give it a name, specify the size and hit create. Here is the PVC object and we can see that a corresponding persistent volume is also created with a unique ID. To test this out, let us deploy an application. In this case, a pod with the latest CentOS container. Notice that we have replicas set to three, meaning there'll be three instances of this pod for this particular deployment. And since this is NFS file storage, the CSI supports read-write to the same PV from multiple pod instances. OpenShift offers a very intuitive user interface to specify the various characteristics of deployments. Under the Actions menu of this deployment, I can select Add Storage, and specify the PVC we just created and a mount location and hit save. This will deploy the three parts with the specified storage. Now let's create some files from one of these parts. I'm using the touch command here to create a few empty files from one of the pods. Let's go to the OneFS interface for Isilon, where we can see that the file system endpoint that is mapped to the persistent volume now has the files we just created. Please do download and check out 
the new Dell EMC CSI operator, which is now supported on vanilla Kubernetes as well as OpenShift. And you can learn more about the DevOps and automation integrations of the Dell EMC storage portfolio by visiting delltechnologies.com slash storage source. Thank you for watching this video.